you have to do a clap, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's up everybody? It's a great day with Alan and Dre. But we're gonna make uh, <laughs> something I just kind of thought of. It's kind of like chicken leg and thigh, olives, goat cheese, Ooh. and sun-dried tomatoes. Yeah, and Dre's gonna be cooking with me today. Yes. And we're gonna do it up. We're gonna so do it. We have our olive tapenade some goat cheese <laughs> and we were going to use these like beautiful olives those are delicious yeah they're amazing and they we got them at sprouts sprouts and you guys really enjoyed that last cooking show yes of our we got rave reviews rave the tortilla soup the tortilla soup ay, 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 ay. is that what you did yeah what was that sound you made i don't remember that's that it. wasn't it <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this one, I don't have a name for it. I'm come. excited and I'm hungry. Yes, we're washing the preservatives off. <laughs> Challenges of a small kitchen. For this. Yeah, let's put it right, right back up there. And I'll just kind of show you things where we're at. So what I love using like legs and thighs for with chicken, it's dark meat, but it actually cooks better. Like you can't overcook it. Yeah, so I'm gonna prep these. Dre is gonna be cutting some some sun-dried tomatoes. You can basically just cut them in the strips. Okay, for this, like you guys are in our seasoning drawer. Uh, we're getting it's okay. yeah, it'll be fine. Some pink sea salt. I got some some lemon thyme that I thought was fun, and I'm gonna do with black pepper as well as basically kind of an Italian feel, I would say. I might even do some fennel seeds. Dre doesn't like that, but it's good. <coughs> Woo! He sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of a funny story. Yeah. Pro tip. Kitchen shears. Cutting. Dried tomato. Way easier than using the knife. That's kind of a funny story. Yeah. I was in Walmart. At the start. It was kind of at the height of... Yeah, I was at the height of COVID. I was walking around and I, I, I coughed, but it was like COVID was kind of running rampant and people were really scared. And this guy just pointed at me and I was like, he coughed, like, <laughs> and was, he wasn't joking. And I was like, and then everybody looked at me and I was just like, oh my gosh. So I just walked down the aisle. And the biggest thing is just to keep your hope and trust in God no matter what. That's right, baby. No matter what. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see me here, but I thought this lemon time was really good. and then we'll do salt and pepper on and everything else on them as well. Okay, so I'm gonna do... So I'm just cutting this up. You know, people talk about the love in food. I think that's really a key, that's true. a key component. Oh, that's, we need a, we need our garlic. We forgot, I, I got excited and I was oh, doing yeah. tomatoes and everything and... What should I do? I would just do a little bit on top of the tomato. Yeah, that's probably good. However much you have. Don't cross-contaminate. Don't cross-contaminate. You'll kill people. I want to do some, some of the goat cheese. Some of the goat cheese. Some of the goat cheese. Do like a little bit somewhere. Okay. Oops. Yeah, that's fine. Great. All right, so basically we're putting a bunch of good stuff together. And then we're gonna roll this one up. So one cool thing about Ellen being a fantastic chef and enjoying food and cooking food is that that was something I remember asking the Lord for in a spouse. And I kind of thought, oh, this is not really that important, but it would be really cool to marry someone who enjoys cooking in the kitchen. In my mind, I thought just someone who at least would help me so I wasn't doing it all by myself all the time. But he actually is way better cook than I am, so he does most of it, and then I just help. Okay. Oh, sorry. So that's some of, some of the handiwork. Okay. 
Okay guys, so I think it took about 30 minutes to cook it. Dre is gonna pull it out and it's gonna be beautiful, hopefully. Well, let's watch what she does. I feel like I need two. Should we turn the light on? Does it look done? I think so. Yeah. I think it's just pink. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Looks good. It definitely looks cooked on the inside. It's because it's... It's good. Ooh. <laughs> so Alan is a master at plating dishes. He just knows how to make them look beautiful. Well, we're trying. Delicious. So yeah, here's kind of the center. But we're gonna cut them up and we'll plate it. So flavorful. Okay, so we'll do one nice one and then we just have another plate. So I think we'll do like a bed. <laughs> I like a lot of height stuff. This isn't sharp enough. No, it's not. Woo! You want another knife? Andrea put all the knives in the dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That, that big one's probably in the sink, but we have to wash it. It's okay. This one. with what we got. So, maybe we'll turn this guy around. Maybe. Make him sexy. I wish I had a sauce, but it's like nine o'clock and we want to eat. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. That's just something. It looks beautiful. There we go. Mm -hmm. Is it? Mm. It's so good. <laughs> My teeth just sore. Oh, we just went to the dentist. <laughs> All right, so hope you guys have an amazing day. God bless. Remember to live your life to the fullest. Mm. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, send it to other people, share it. <laughs> we mean it. We'll come after you. <laughs>